Open information extraction is the ability to glean facts and opinions from a huge number of sentences, literally billions and billions of web pages. What we want to be able to do is take the information that's already out there, that's already on the web, already in different web pages, and then just curate it, put it together into a usable form. The future of the project is to then tie in knowledge representation, inference, and machine learning. So we start with the information that's extracted, we learn from it, we form generalizations, and we infer things that weren't even said in the original text. The key difference of what we do compared to Google Knowledge Graph is that we can get facts about anything, and we don't have to tell the computer to do it ahead of time. Google goes one step short of open information extraction because they actually have to choose what they're targeting. So they only target certain pieces of information. Open information extraction, the open part, means we target any relation so we can go after any fact. Let me give you an example. of What cities are business capitals? So here you can see that we get Mumbai is the business capital of India, Sydney is the business capital of Australia, Toronto, Canada, New York City, the world, and so on. For another example, with OpenIE, we can search for kills bacteria and quickly get a list of many different types of things that kill bacteria, such as antibiotics or chlorine. We can also further divide these answers by their types. For example, we might be interested in just the drug ingredients that kill bacteria, tea tree oil and hydrogen peroxide. The goal of OpenAI is not just to extract facts from text, but also to understand them. One of the ways in which OpenAI understands these facts is by mapping argument strings to world entities, say in Freebase. For example, when asked which drugs are approved by FDA, OpenAI gives us a long list. However, in this list, many of these entities like Celebrex are not the entities that it was able to map to Freebase. However, it still knows that these are drugs and that is because of its type inference algorithm. Our goal is to build the next generation of search engines. No more 10 blue links that you have to go through, read, click on, etc. Instead, you ask questions, you get answers. To demonstrate the utility of OpenAE, we applied it to hundreds of thousands of restaurant reviews in Seattle in a project called RevMiner. So for example, you could ask about good sushi in Seattle. You'll get the list of restaurants ordered by who's got the best sushi. Exquisite sushi is ordered ahead of good sushi, and good sushi is below great sushi. So there's sentiment analysis, and we automatically capture the strength of the sentiment. We sort by that, normalize for the number of reviews, and give you what we think is the best sushi place in Seattle. We have put a huge amount of effort in releasing the code for OpenAI. If you have your data, be it from any domain, news, politics, sports, biology, what have you, you can download our software and run it on your data and you would be able to interact with your data and ask pointed questions in completely novel ways. We've been working on OpenAE for almost a decade, but there's still a lot of work to do. We need to improve the precision and recall of the techniques. We need to go deeper into the text and understand better what people are saying. We need to tie what's extracted to background knowledge, to inference, and we need the ability to form generalizations based of it. So some of the hardest and most interesting AI problems are just coming to the fore right now. Join us at the University of Washington in Seattle.